Today we're gonna take a look at the new display tablet from XP Pen and it is the Artist Pro 14 second gen which is the first display tablet in the market to my knowledge with a pen that is capable of a 16k level of pressure in addition to a laminated screen and a blazing fast response time and high color accuracy so in this video we'll take a look at what this tablet offers and how it can help you work on your projects so without further ado let's jump right in Although the review copy was provided by XP Pen, all opinions are our own and this is an unbiased review. With that out of the way, this budget 1080p tablet has a size of, as the name suggests, 14 inches, with a peak brightness of 250 nits, with a color gamut that covers 99% sRGB and 85% Adobe RGB. So the colors are nice and sharp, but more on that later. The build quality feels great, and the tablet itself feels premium and sturdy. It has this matte finish to it, and I like the fact that it is not a fingerprint magnet like the other tablets usually are, because these things can usually pick up fingerprints really quickly. This is a pen display tablet, and if you are not familiar with these pen displays, these are like screens that you can plug into your PC and you can draw on the same time. This is not a standalone Windows tablet or an iPad, because these things need to be plugged to your system, like a desktop or a laptop, to be able to use them. And with that being said, let's see what is inside the package. In the box, you will find the display itself, of course, the USB C cables. Also, the table has now a dual USB C connector one for a single USB C to PC and the other one is the traditional 3-in-1 HDMI connector. The pen case I think just looks awesome. With all the extra nibs that you can see in here, especially if you like a more rougher feel when drawing. And finally, a USB dongle, which will help you connect the handy remote, which also comes in the package. The remote offers a way to control some of the shortcuts which used to be on the tablet, but now, since they are going for this clean, minimalistic look, you will find everything with the remote. A lot of XP Pen products lately include this remote. This is the case if you don't like to use your keyboard too much. Now, before we talk about the pen, which was a big deal in all the marketing material as the first ever 16K level of pressure, I want to touch on the display itself because I don't think that the pen is a big of a deal as the marketing team might lead you to believe, but more on that later. The display, as we mentioned, is a Full HD 1080p that is 1920 by 1080 pixels spread across a 14-inch display. At this size of the screen, the resolution is not the best I've seen, but it is extremely good. Everything is sharp and smooth, no weird distortions or skewed elements, and the laminated display ties everything together. The gap between your pen and the drawing surface is basically non-existent, which leads to a great drawing experience. The screen panel itself, which XP Pen is dubbing X Nature Display, offers high color gamut coverage of 99% of RCGB space and 85% of Adobe RGB and 88% of DCI-P3. But these are probably just a bunch of nonsensical numbers to your ears. The only thing that you need to know is I mean, you need to know that it looks great, and the color accuracy is on point, and the viewing angles are decent for the price you are paying, which is the most important thing. Furthermore, the screen ratio is 16 by 10, instead of the traditional 16 by 9, so that's more screen real estate for you. 11% more to be exact, and I must say, I don't hate it. Another thing that I personally like is that, to protect your eye's health, XP Pen is implementing eye protection features which are TUV SUD certified. To be honest, I didn't know what TUV and SUD even mean and that they have certificates for these things, but it seems legit. This feature can be turned on and off, but it is recommended for those long sketching or painting hours. Speaking of being comfortable, the 14 Pro is also equipped with an anti-glare edge glass surface which not only reduces reflection and glare on the surface, I mean the surface of the screen, but it also gives you a considerable amount of pen grip which simulates the feeling of drawing on a real paper. But for more grip, you can use the provided felt nibs. 
The display also comes with a built-in foldable 19 degree leg support, which is perfect for working for long hours. Of course, if you need more adjustability, you're gonna need to get a separate stand, but having that directly attached to the display is kinda neat. The display also has, from what I can see, a thicker bezel at the bottom, which is supposed to be to rest your hands during long working hours. Now, for the start of the show, the X3 Pro Smart Chip Stylus. This is, to my knowledge, the first ever tablet stylus that's able to detect and simulate the range of pressure between 0 and 16,000 levels of pressure. It honestly feels absurd to even say it. Well, XP Pen has been developing their stylus technology in the last few years, and it is now on par with the industry standards like Huon and Wacom, and this is a breakthrough innovation, especially for XP Pen. But for the end users and artists like me and you, I don't think you're gonna feel that so much. I mean, you're not gonna feel much of a difference. The X3 stylus comes in two versions. The Pro version I have here and the one equipped to handle the 16K pressure levels. The Elite version, on the other hand, is only capable of 8K levels of pressure and I think you will be hard-pressed to tell the difference between the two. I personally couldn't, but don't get me wrong. It is smoother, more solid, and feels great, but I feel like this is a similar story to the frame rate when it comes to gaming monitors. Once it reaches a certain point, you can't even notice it, but it is there nonetheless. But trying the pen personally, I think the highlight of the pen for me is its ability to now eliminate all the jitter when drawing straight lines, which is really important. Usually XP Pen has a jitter when drawing slowly, but this time I feel like they did a great job enhancing the overall precision of the pen. To sum it up, this is a great budget pen display for people who need something versatile, portable, looks good and could easily compete with the highest budget competitors. The Omnis Pro 14 second gen starts at $380 because there is a discount going on right now, so if you were always on the fence when it comes to grabbing one of these display tablets, you can just go for it right now because they are honestly a must-have for any motion graphic, 3D artist, 2D artist, and everything else in between. I hope you guys found this review useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.